In this question, it says, hemochromatosis exhibits an autosomal recessive inheritance pattern. The frequency of the disease in general population is 1%. So we know that hemochromatosis is going to be autosomal recessive, and the frequency of the disease in general population is 1%. So that means 1%, 1 in 100 people in a particular population is going to have the disease. Now a man is known, is a known heterozygous carrier. So we have a man here, he's a heterozygous carrier, so let's say uh, the big H is a normal one, and the small H is the, he's a carrier of hemochromatosis, the autosomal recessive gene pattern. Marries a woman from the general population. So this man is marrying a woman from the general population. What is the probability that he and his partner will produce an offspring who is going to have hemochromatosis? So what are the chances of this offspring uh, being a, a child with hemochromatosis? Okay, so there is a harder way of doing this question and an easier way of doing this question. So we're going to go through the easier way. The chance of passing on the allele which has hemochromatosis for the man is going to be 50%. So it's going to be 0 0.5, right? 50 by 100 is going to be 0 0.5. Now let's come to the woman. Now, we know from the Hardy-Weinberg equation, p squared plus 2pq plus q squared equal to 1, this should be a q, is equal to 1, where p is the normal allele and q is the uh, allele for the, for the autosomal recessive disease. Now, this patient, this, this, not this patient, this woman here who is from the general population, she the frequency of her passing on the hemochromatosis is 1%. So I can say that the chances of her passing on the frequency of allele is going to be 1 divided by 100, right? That's 1%. So we can say that the allelic frequency or Q square is equal to 1 by 100 because she's from the general population. She, the, her, the chance of her being a carrier of hemochromatosis is 1%, and so the frequency, the Q square, is equal to 1 by 100. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to find the probability of this woman being able to pass on the hemochromatosis gene. So I want to find the value of Q, which is, the, which is really the probability for having hemochromatosis. So what I'm going to do is Q is equal to square root by 100, 1 by 100, so which is also equal to 1, 10 minus 2 square root, right, which is also equal to Q is equal to 10 minus 2 plus minus like that because when we get rid of the square root, that's what we get. And when we cancel this out, we get Q equal to 10 minus 1, which is equal to 1 by 10 which is equal to 0 0.1. So this is the value for this woman being able to pass on the hemochromatosis gene. It's only 0 0.1. That's a probability of a woman from the general population of passing on the gene frequency of hemochromatosis. So what we are going to do is we're going to multiply 0 0.5 times 0 0.1 and the answer we're going to get is, is going to be 0 0.05 which is the allelic frequency of the offspring to have hemochromatosis in this particular patient.